good morning. Uh, I have three figures here. Um, a skeleton eye figure and three shaded figures. Uh, what I would like to do, I would like to take the shading of these figures a little bit further using uh, uh, a wash, uh, some brushwork and a wash. And um, uh, I would ask you to um, try this uh, on your own uh, and see what you can come up with. Now, um, at this point, uh, I'm using a very, very heavy um, um, loaded brush. It's not a big brush, you know, but it's loaded, okay, with um, um, pigment. And uh, how I, I have arrived to these uh, patterns, these conclusions, if you will, is by looking at uh, other people's work, particularly the Renaissance masters. In particular, the master who work with the brush, um, including Rembrandt. Now, um, what I've done here, I simply moved along from head to toe without much hesitation, which is what I would like you to do. Um, I'm not going to discuss um, why, you know, the idea, of course, the light's coming from uh, from the left. Everything on the right will be, um, you know would be um, in shaded, shaded. Um, but I'm not discussing why exactly things are what they are because uh, within this general idea there could be you know so many variation depending if the figure has clothes on or doesn't have clothes on or has little clothes on um, all that uh, how much um, uh, the uh, parts of the anatomy you know stick out uh, pictorial muscles uh, uh, um, <laughs> the uh, bending uh, of the arms, okay, uh, that could be also a big factor. Um, the way the fig, the um, legs are angled, okay. So, for example, a, a leg that is angled slightly backwards would be primarily in shadow. Primarily in shadow, compare the same to a leg that is slightly bent forward. Um, same thing with the arm, upper arm being uh, darker than um, the lower arm. The lower arm, the lower portion of the arm tends to um, uh, bend forward. So the number of uh, things that are, you know, uh, will determine, number of factors that will determine uh, uh, where the shadow goes and so on and so forth. Um, but again, because there's so many and the variation is so many, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, spend time to discuss this. Okay, um, you need to look at um, examples. Anything will do, even if these examples are partial. Uh, in other words, they don't, um, um, they're not complete. Um, you can memorize bits and pieces of these. Um, uh, relationships between light and shadow and uh, go from there. Um, from a very simple solution you can go into more complex solutions. Now because this is a, this is a drawing, a sketch, um, I'm going to end it right here, right now, uh, but obviously you can come back and when the paper dries you can redo this several times. You can even take some white and highlight the um, area in particular area that are exposed to the light, in particular areas that you have um, uh, overlooked, area that you have, you know, um, overworked, where the uh, puddle has gone too far. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching.